to iPad Training Lesson 10. In this lesson, you will learn how to use the Goodreader app to get documents, view documents, organize documents, and mark on documents. In Goodreader, you can view many different types of documents, including Microsoft Office files, Apple iWork files, and photos. However, you can only mark on PDF files. Let's start by opening a document from an email in Goodreader. When you get a document in your email, it will look like this, open, or it might look like this, closed. For both kinds of documents, though, just tap and hold to get this menu. Tap open in Goodreader. When the document is open, tap in the middle to see three toolbars. At the top, you see the name of the document and a tab showing the document and any other documents you have open. You also see a button that says My Documents. This button will take you back to your Goodreader Documents folders. At the bottom, you see a toolbar with some symbols. Brightness, Orientation, Page Layout View, Cropping, Bookmarks, Go to a Page, Find, Lock Page Movement so you can't move the document, Share for emailing, and lock screen rotation so it doesn't change orientation when you move your iPad. On the right, there's a toolbar for marking on the document. There are lots of different tools, but the most useful ones are the drawing tool, the eraser, the highlighter, the pop-up note, and the typewriter. You can use these tools to write on your document. When you tap on a tool for the first time, it will show you a box with three options. If you need to save a clean copy, choose Create an Annotated Copy. If you don't need a clean copy, and you can just mark right on your copy, choose Save to this file. I can choose the color. I can choose how big the line is. And I can choose Opacity. I'll save my marks. I can erase with the eraser tool. Here I can highlight. Here I can make notes. And I can type. When you're finished marking your document, you can tap Share to send it by email and choose Share to email. You should choose Flatten Copy if you want your marks to go in the document. Now let's organize this document. Go to the Goodreader Documents page. Tap My Documents. You can see the document here. The list of documents and folders is on the left, and on the right you can manage and organize documents. On your iPad, each app saves its documents inside of itself. You can find your Pages documents in Pages, for example. However, in Goodreader, you can keep and organize documents from different apps all in one place. Goodreader is a nice way to keep and organize documents on your iPad. Let's put our document in a folder. Tap and hold the document. You will see a lot of options in the Manage Files box. Tap Move. You will see a menu of your folders in Goodreader. Tap the folder you want it to go to. I'll put it in Writing. Tap Move One Item Here. Now when I tap on the Writing folder, I see my document. Back to My Documents. The nice thing about Goodreader is that you can connect to storage in the cloud, like Google Docs and Dropbox. That means Goodreader can get into your Dropbox and Google Docs to download things, upload things, and even sync your documents. So when you mark on a document in Goodreader, your document in Dropbox or Google Docs shows the changes. Let's connect Goodreader with Dropbox. If you don't have a Dropbox account, you can sign up for one in just a minute. They're free, and you can store a lot of information there. Tap Connect to Servers. Tap Add. Tap Dropbox. Type Dropbox. 
Now you can see Dropbox in your Connect to Server box. Tap the icon to connect it to your Dropbox account. You will see the Dropbox login page. If you have an account already, type your email address and password, then log in. If you don't have a Dropbox account, tap Need a Dropbox account, type your first name and last name, your ZU email address, a password, tick I agree, and tap Create Account. Tap Allow. Now you can see your Dropbox account inside GoodReader. If you go into these folders, you will see your documents. If your Dropbox account is new, your documents will be pretty empty. Tap the blue arrow by Photos. Tap the blue arrow by Sample Album. And tap Pensive Parakeet. This is a sample photo that comes in your Dropbox. Right now we can download it into our GoodReader and we can sync it so it will be the same file in both places at the same time. When it's selected, you will see four buttons below. Deselect all, that just deselects. Sync, share, and download. Download will give you the possibility of just downloading the file. Share will open an email so you can share a link to the photo. Sync will download the photo and stay connected so any changes you make in GoodReader will also happen in Dropbox. Tap proceed. Tap Download here and Synchronize. Tap Sync. Now you can see the photo file in My Documents, and it has a green circle that shows it's syncing. It's connected to Dropbox. Let's open it. Tap the center of the photo. You can't see the toolbar on the right. That's because this is not a PDF file. You can't mark on it. If you want to mark on files in GoodReader, they must be PDF. Tap the center. Go back to My Documents. If you have a document or folder you want to upload to Dropbox, tap and hold it to manage it. Tap Upload. Tap Dropbox. Tap Upload. Tap Upload One Item. It will upload this file or folder to Dropbox. Then you can sync it. Let's sync it. Select. Sync. Proceed. Download here and synchronize. Sync. Now we can see that it's synchronized with Dropbox. Now you can start using GoodReader to store and organize documents on your iPad and to mark on PDFs. This is the end of Lesson 10.